Hey y'all, I am here to bring you my what I wore this month video for May of 2016. This month my period lasted only, really, about five days. So compared to last month's epic disaster of a period, this month was great. Um, however, last week was also a terrible week on pretty much every other front. So there's no fun, exciting period vlog where I act silly because it was actually a really stressful week. Um, but I'll give you a couple of little updates and most importantly, I'll show you all the pretty things that I wore, uh, including my new dry strap from Red Roads Cloth, which I have discovered is perfect for riding my bicycle with my really long skirt on to keep it from getting caught in my chain, which happens embarrassingly frequently to me. So check this out. Cute dry strap, long dress, right? Right? All right, let's go check out the pads. Period in June came right at the beginning of the busiest work week of my life. Um, the only week close is this week, the week after, so I'm actually really crazy, but I do want to do this video because I like making these videos and sharing them with you, even though my tripod is yet again completely jerry-rigged. Um, let's see. All right, we're going to try to make this happen. I promise on payday I am remedying my tripod situation at least. All right, great. Awesome. Here we go. Accessories I used in June. 2016, my trusty large Doctor Who wet bag. I dry store my pads during my cycle and wash them all at the end uh, most of the time. So this is what I use. It's got a front dry pocket, which I almost never end up using because I keep my pads in a drawer. And uh, wet waterproof inside, hang it right by the toilet. Good to go all week. Love it. For daily carrying, I use my very favorite, love my custom cloth, two-sided um, carrying wet bag that fits in my purse. It holds usually three pads um, or two pads and a backup cup, depending on if I'm trying um, a new cup. Um, but I use this all the time for at work and I just can carry it with me directly to the ladies. And I also used for like quick trips out this pad pocket from Beach Bottom Zombie Love. So cute. I love this one. This strawberry cake from Honeymoon Reusables, Cotton Top, Wind Pro Back. Are you fit? Is this focusing? I love this. It's so pretty and it's little. Um, and this, my luxurious kitty cat cup spot from um, Lucy and Mabs. And my little skull cup, cup spot, cotton top, um, kind of like sweatshirt fleece backed that I made from a scrap from um, another project I was working on. And it's really cute. Look, I made something that I use on my period. Go figure. That does seem to be the logical progression. All right. My period was much more normal than last month. I had one day of just spotting. Um, during which time I wore this, um, Kaylee's Cloth Bleed on Trump Peak Top Fleece Back 7.5 inch moderate. Just, I'm still not sure how I feel about having his face that close to my fine china. Day two, I had nothing as per usual. Yay, we are back mostly on schedule. Day three or and or my real day one. Super excited. <laughs> Do you all get excited about things like this? That this beautiful little 10 inch moderate beach bottom pad that I have matches so perfectly with these panties that I got really excited and now I feel like I will always wear them together. Do you have anything like that? Panties and pads that you use at the same time? Anyway, I, I feel like this is a match made in tropical paradise heaven. That is a cotton top micro fleece, fleece back 10 inch moderate from beach bottom. Then I put on this Omi's Boutique 11-inch um, heavy to wear for my dreaded trip to Walmart um, that I make as minimally as possible. I put in my headphones, I listen to my music, and I ignore all the people there for the most part, but this pad is really comfy and really floppy. It is 
uh, confetti dyed OBV top, and looks like maybe polar fleece back, maybe blizzard. And that night, it was Sunday, so I was going over to a friend's house to watch Game of Thrones. I knew my cycle or my uh, flow was going to be picking up. And my friend has a really beautiful white couch. So I wore for the first time ever my 14 and a half inch heavy yurt craft cotton top under the sea lovely mermaids and sea creatures prints with my lunette 2 my trusty trusty cup and game of thrones that sunday was excellent uh, don't get me started on this week day three uh, day day real day two day day three Day four, real day two, was the busiest work, my busiest work day of the summer. I got up super early in the morning and wore this uh, teal flannel topped, fleece backed, heavy from Blossom Green Lilies. That I knew I was going to have zero chances to go to the bathroom all day, or minimal, I guess I should say, compared to my normal 47 times I go. So I wore this. 11 and a quarter inch uh, wide moderate cotton manatee print from A Splendid Story. It has the length that gives me a little bit of security and it is really nicely wind pro backed and it's comfortable. And I also wore this uh, interlabial pad from Cloth Junkies and of course my trusty Lunette size 2. Still overflowed that. Well, I feel like one, at one point I took the interlabial pad out because it was done. Then I overflowed onto the manatees, so I switched to this gator cloth. Pretty girls, front bleeder style, 9-inch, moderate absorbency, still with my cup, which I had emptied. And that managed to get me home. Um, this is a knit top and a wind pro back. Oops. Cat hair and fuzz everywhere. Um, super comfortable. I'm really excited to try this without a cup because I am going to do, I'm probably going to try and do a month coming up where I literally just wear all my different new front bleeder pads. We'll see how that experiment goes because Harriet here to join us as usual. When I went home from work on whatever day that was, I switched to my very comfy, Harriet, seriously. I switched to my very comfy Red Roads Cloth Anne of Green Gables Silhouette Pad, which is a 12 inch uh, heavy, yeah, 12 inch heavy with this beautiful green cotton top that I got to pick. Watch my uh, video of unboxing these and I'll, you'll hear the whole story about that. And uh, Win Pro Fleece Back in her heart shaped pattern. Yes, that's heart shaped Harriet. And then when I went to bed, I wore one of my favorites, as always, starting to pill a little bit. I've washed it so much. My um, flannel topped, fleece backed aerial pad. Uh, it is an 11 and a half inch heavy from Blossom Green Lilies. Love her so much. Day, whatever day, day three. Another crazy day at work. I, again, relaxed. Um, watched the news, drank coffee, wearing this 11 inch moderate absorbency flannel top, flannel back from Love My Custom Cloth. I, uh, to work, I wore my lunette again. I could not take any chances and I wore this beautiful floppy new, to me, Homestead Emporium Contour, is that what it's called? The curve style, the contour style. Um, I think it's a heavy, I don't even know. It's so soft and wonderful. I just got this uh, from a D stash, along with another one you're gonna see in a minute, from Kate of Special Kate 8, who you probably watch her videos too, and if you don't, you should. This is an OBV top, Win Pro fleece back, and at first I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this with the unfinished edges of the Win Pro, but I'm gonna tell you something. This pad is so comfortable, you will be seeing it very frequently in these videos. And Kate, thank you for that D stash opportunity. It's really hard to get Homestead Emporium pads in the US. I changed into this flannel top, um, 
11, how long is this one? I don't remember. Uh, 10 and a half, 10 inch, 10 and a half inch heavy pad from Cloth Junkies. This is her curved style. It's a surged, ex a surged exposed core style with Win Pro on the back. Um, I made a video of unboxing this pad with another one from her that were a giveaway win for me. And that was one of the videos that got lost in the epic technological failure was my with my attempt to use a different software. So, um, Amy, I love these. Thank you. I will do a first impressions video again of them soon. So I got home, took out my cup, wanted to relax after a really long day at work and switched into this super plush, heavy, a uh, 10 inch heavy eco hearted with this beautiful under the sea, magical seahorse, mermaid princess, minky print with um, a really soft wind pro on the back. It's just so cozy. It was exactly what I needed at the end of the day. At night, it was probably my last, I knew, really heavy night, so I had to try out this um, Homestead Emporium Ulti Mini that I also got in that D-Stash from Special Kate 8, and I completely understand why both of these and Homestead Emporium in general are so raved about in YouTube videos and on Facebook. Um, they're amazing if you can get your hands on one, maybe through a D stash because it is she doesn't ship to the US. Um, but this thing is amazing. I think this one's a 13 inch and um, it's amazing. I kind of want to wear it right now and I'm not even on my period. It is OVB topped and Win Pro backed in this really fun kind of bubblegum pink color that I'm not sure the light in my kitchen is doing it justice. It's pretty. Uh, it's not my prettiest pad, but let me tell you something. This thing is magical. Day four morning, I wore this lovely moderate 10 inch tropical hibiscus print from Red Roads Cloth. And I finally got to try out my new Super Jenny, which I bought exclusively based on Jennifer Lewis and Red Herring's reviews and the coupon code that Red Herring posted on her YouTube channel. Thank you, ma'am. I thought for sure, I watched a bunch of troubleshooting videos because I thought for sure because this cup is so much softer than my favorite, the Lunette. I mean, right? It was absolutely perfect. I went in perfectly the first time. I had no problems with it. I ended up wearing it all day. And this pad also was really great. Thank you, Nancy. And then um, I was pretty much really lightening up at that point. So when I came home, I took out that Super Jenny and put on this pretty Alice in Wonderland and Totoro mashup cotton print. See Totoro back there and Alice from Strawberry Alarm Cloth. And I slept in this. Yes, sorry. My notes from my period tracker app are not great. I slept in this, uh, my really light, 10 inch light absorbency cotton top wind pro backed um, Bonjour La Chat Marie the Kitten shaped character pad from Venus Pads, which I love. I slept in that because it's long enough to give me some coverage, but I knew there was not going to be much happening. And the next morning I got up and for coffee wore phone died light from Blossom Green Lilies and a nine inch moderate Jessica Rabbit print from Strawberry Alarm Cloth. That makes for 19 pads and two cups and one aisle pad in total. Thanks for watching, y'all.